Celebrity Jeopardy Natural Selection Edition. I'm Alex Trebek, and with me tonight are... Keanu Reeves, Britney Spears, and Sean Connery. Three individuals who managed to escape the icy grip of natural selection. Tonight's categories are... Go with the flow. Drift in my jeans. Variations or deviations from expected phenotype based on chance. An act of balance. Diploidy. Too much of a good thing. Picky in the bedroom. Natural selection for mating success. and neutral reproducers. Sean Connery, a senior member of Celebrity Jeopardy, you have first pick of the category. Mm, let's see. I'll take neuter all reproducers for 500. Lack of selective success due to genetic variation. Um, purple? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, I'm sorry, what is purple? Sorry, the answer is, what is neutral variation? Sean Connery, you have control of the board. Well, this might go against Miss Spears' philosophy, but I'll take Picky in the Bedroom for 200. Form of sexual selection in which phenotypes are carried on or selected within the same sex. What is two? Two what? Exactly. The correct answer is, what is intersexual selection? Mr. Connery, it's yours again. I'll take too much of a good thing, just like your mother had last night. The decrease in fitness of a phenotype due to its excessive reoccurrence in a population. What is obesity? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is, what is frequency-dependent selection? Wait, what? What? Oh, alright, I'll tell them. As an unexpected turn of events, the producers have decided to add a fourth contestant tonight, Mr. Charles Darwin, in order to raise the intelligence level of our contestants. I will take Drift in My Genes for 200. A sudden environment change causing a gene pool to no longer reflect original population's phenotype. What is the bottleneck effect? Oh, and as a side note, the founder effect is another type of genetic drift in which a few individuals are isolated and thus make the population different from the source. That is correct. I will take an act of balance for 700. Natural selection maintains two or more distinct phenotypes for species. What is balancing selection? Oh, and another fun fact, an occurrence where it is most advantageous to keep two different alleles at one locus to enable compensation for environment changes is called heterozygote advantage. And Miss Spears, since we feel terrible for you, you have control of the board. Oh, um, I'll take, uh, diploidy? Yeah. When recessive alleles remain unexpressed in order to prevent their elimination due to environmental changes. Hello? Over here, Mr. Trebek. I buzzed in. Hello? Anyone want to venture a guess? Anyone? Anyone out there? You can just buzz in at any time and test your luck. Since nobody managed to buzz in, I'll answer. What is diploidy? Sadly, since no one was able to get that incredibly easy question correct, I'll pick the next category. The type of sexual selection producing differences between male and female phenotypes. What is sexual dimorphism? Whoa, wait, wait. I think I blacked out. Am I dead? Mr. Reeves, I didn't know it was possible, but you've managed to answer the question correctly. You get a pick again. 
I'll take go with the flow for $2,500. I'm sorry, Mr. Reeves, but although that is not a category, I'll pick go with the flow for 200 The elements of gene flow which create genetic addition or subtraction through their movement. In order to gain points for this question, all you must do is raise your hand. Right or left will be accepted. Just raise your hand. Hey, y'all, it's a baby. Look. I, I, oh. oh, don't worry. My sister's got another one coming. <laughs> Since nobody raised their hand, the answer is, what are fertile individuals or gametes? Since I'm sick of your idiotic ramblings, I'll pick the category. A type of selection dependent on mate choice in a population. And the answer is, what is intersexual selection? And now we move on to final jeopardy. Within gene flow, this is the direction in which population differences occur. Just draw an arrow up or down. Mr. Reeves, you answered with a horizontal arrow, which is incorrect, and you've wagered a two. Mrs. Spears, you've managed to recreate a masterpiece of art using only a sharpie. Let's see what you've wagered. Ah, should have expected this. It's a baby. Now, Mr. Darwin, I believe that's more of a statement than an answer, but I guess we can see what you've wagered. Ah, tough loss. Sean Connery, that is an arrow pointing up, which is the correct answer. Now let's see what you've wagered. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Contestants, due to your complete lack of intelligence, everyone in the studio is now dumber and each of your charities will be awarded zero dollars. May God have mercy on your souls. I'm Alex Trebek, and this has been Celebrity Jeopardy. Thanks for watching.